Ah, okay, there we go. And we're live. First match for today is gonna be Reginald for, from Bartles B, Bartles Spy, one of the two against communication issues. B. We're gonna be looking at Rainy being the recon, John being the support, Merit the assault, and Hosami taking the support, Rake Bob the assault, and Halcy on the recon. Very surprising because I expected Rake Bob to be the support in this match. But off we go. We have not too aggressive gameplay sticking out for so far. It's the first encounter happening in the courtyard. Really separated pretty wide. They're both evening out to. Well, quick correction. Ragbob is taking the lead here for Reginald. Things are not as aggressive as yesterday. The rounds seem to be taking longer for the start. But at least both teams seem very keen on not holding back here. So it's down to Merit, just being at the point of interest, getting shot down immediately. I'm pretty much just surprised, like I said, that Rake Bob is being the assault and Hosami is taking the support because I expected it the other way around. On sides of communication issue, it seems pretty, pretty much as I expected it. Yeah, yeah. The thing I have been noticing, though, is that I saw um, John use an SRM in the first round as a support. Not sure what it was about, but apparently he traded he trades a GD for a shotgun. Yep. It's interesting. I mean, it's a good weapon to work with. Not sure if the lower tarmac is a good idea, but the ghost is there, so it's nothing wrong with playing on the objective. Jinrai is sticking together fairly well, just in case Hosumi gets attacked, the other ones can drop down. The other team also sticking together as one unit so far, we're looking at more squad-related gameplay than we had in all matches before so far. Rainy's taking up a spot under the uh, helicopter left. That's a better position, in my opinion, to be in for a shotgun, but not as much for a recon because he won't be able to just recon jump out of it unless his timing is perfect in this case. Yeah. Well, oh, he does he get seems... rid Bob, though. Yeah, he does seem to actually nail a headshot on that distance, which was quite nice to look at. He disappeared in time, though, so he didn't get picked off at the lower tarmac as the other ones came in. Looks like NSF is grouping back up. Oh, Rainy is going for a lower tarmac, probably just trying to get a drop on them. Ooh, right in there. Oh man. And there he goes, Shotgun A, second round. Communication issue taking their first point here, having their first Corporal being Rainy. If they switch it up for him being support, they get an early MX, though I don't see that happening this round. They're facing nearly the equal amount of firepower for this case, because Halcyon and Ray Bob also are corporals here. Though they Halsami... haven't stopped on Jinrai either, yeah. They yeah. don't have an MX. Halcyon's got a jetty now, though. Uh, silence. Using it quickly to shut down Rainy here. Though not being too aggressive himself, using this recon more like a scouting kind of character. So far it's fairly even. I would say that both teams are in par in terms of speed and, you know, fighting each other. Direct fire fights and yeah. so on. Nice, that was though, a quick one. Though it seems to be kind of reoccurring that one team seems to wipe the other without many casualties at all. Just yeah, going back and forth like from now. Taking either the recon or assaults early, and after that they get a need to get more uh, room to move with. So they got the tarmac. I'm gonna set swap it for shotguns again. Well, I would have said lower tarmac in this case, once again, not, maybe not the best place, but we saw Rainy pull it off. He's going for the quick push into basement here, so maybe this might turn more turn out to be quite interesting. Mm 
Whereas he covers the basement, the other ones are going for the sky bridge. Not sure if he's just trying to strike when they're distracted or. He's going up sky bridge. Yep. It's yeah. good for playing. Not in time because Regvo had enough time to throw his grenade to take out John here, but. Definitely not a bad move on his part here. Not sure if the best idea was for him to jump down the roof though. Some caught him out in courtyard though. Ooh, Halcyon not even getting hit once in that last firefight. Now, Jinnar has two sergeants, which means that Halcyon can go through with um, the Sedar Long if he wants to. Not sure if we're going to see it in this case. And uh, Rakebob can just start using the MX, which he probably is using. Yep, there he is, MX. Halsey, I'm not making use of the Sedar Long, just sticking to the Jiddy Silenced, taking the safer route in this case. Yeah, Jiddy S is basically one of the best weapons, especially for the recon. Rekbob being quite aggressive in his push already in the enemy spawn. Oh, Summon caught a Rainy at fence. Rainy had the shotgun. So, John has the Jiddy Silenced still. Merit on his own. You saw one of the people coming up to him here. He's kind of just pinned oh, up man. here. 1v3, it's going to be hard for him. Ooh. Catch Drake Bob with the nade, though. That's nice. It's not undoable in this case either because Hazumi is down to 31 HP, which would be like two or three hits with the ZRS in the top area. Halcyon now pushing up with the MX, so he has a lot of firepower speaking for him here. He doesn't get any shots on him though, so Merrick can push in, start to continue the softening process, going for Hazami here. Still didn't get hit. He's, ha he's having a health advantage, but not a fiery power advantage, so things look pretty even for both of them. Yeah. If Halcyon gets the first shot in, then he might win. Merrick, just slowly checking out the situation. Halcyon instead just roll taking the roof for himself. Not leaving that because you pretty much can have an eye on most spots from there. Merit here's his steps though, he's not able to pinpoint them it seems. And they're about to encounter as soon as Halcyon that, enters that door. Oh man. Seems like Merit hit him, at least on my screen, but the shots did not connect. Yeah. yeah. He got a shot registered in, but that was it. Very unfortunate, but seems like Firepower won this one. So they got three sergeants now on Bartlesby. That means Hosea can move for up. This time. He's probably gonna rush. Hmm. Rainy rushes to roof. Rainy is already hand. behind all of them. He's getting a drop on Hosumi here, not killing him yet, but softening him up quite well. They're all grouped together now at the briefing room and the stairs. I don't see unspotted now. Now it's down to Merit. Merit seems to be sort of the guy that is be um, behind the situation a bit, just in case there's flanks or something going on, but I wouldn't let the assault do this, in my opinion, even though he has a motion vision for the tight situations of recons jumping by or so. No, yeah, I, I feel like it's the uh, support for their back. Um, maybe that, or if the recon is more of the kind kind to scout, which he is not in this case because Rainy has been going very aggressively, he can do the hit and run strategies quite well on tarmac because there's a big field, you know, to just keep kiting yeah. them. Though they seem to be very keen on keeping it indoors not really leaving the sky bridge area, the briefing rooms, or the basement. You barely ever see them going into the hangars. It 
So we have a 5-2-1 for Bartlesby so far. So far, all, none of the extraordinary things have been happening. Yeah. Both teams seem like Jinrai's be... uh, got pretty solid communication. Yeah, there's there's no... Well, the, there were Ace. There was this Ace from Rainy, which pretty much was the only highlight so far. But both teams otherwise seem on a level where they're able to compete with each other. Maybe with a bit of a difference in favor for Bartlesby, but this is just the first map, so even if it goes down for them, they have a second chance to come back and maybe take the third map as well. Rainy going for the roof, having the MX in hand, jumping into courtyard to get a quick hold of a choke point here. John is taking his time smoking up the entrance to the hangar. They're all moving up to several choke points at once here. Merit being the one that stays back again. Now the line of sight for Halcyon, Hosomi, uh, the, for Halcyon and uh, Ragbob don't really focus on the ones that are interesting at the moment. But that could change any moment now once Rainy starts going for a move. Ooh. John flunked all the way around Skybridge. That and Merit came right up from below, finishing off Ragbob for him. Now Halcyon is very close to Merit. There might be a second encounter just around the, around the corner. And there it is. Halcyon dropping it to the back for, of Merit here. And they clean up. Oh, nice. First sergeant being Rainy. If he would go assault, he might be able to make use of the MX and trade it off to a recon. I'm not even sure if communication issue is having a backup plan of switching up classes for situations like these. Nope, Rainy goes ZRC. That's good for uh, killing supports though. Double support. So there maybe was a switch plan in order. Seems like we gotta restart the round here. Uh, shit. I'm working on it. There's some discussion that that might, that well, plugin might not be compatible. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it is. But, like, last time we did do that, yeah, we used that last time. Uh, I will just use it. I think it, it might have case. been the unpause command as well. Yeah, I typed in you, Neil restart this too in this case, but it didn't do anything. Oh, they might have removed it from the server now. Well, it re well, it was recommended to me in the console, so it is on the server. But it's not doing anything. Oh, can't use it either. Maybe they elevated the uh, privilege trees. No, wait, you have the highest up. Yeah. Does it work like that? Nope, doesn't. Yeah, we will have to resign to timing it out in this case. It's just 10 seconds away because the command doesn't seem to work, has been taken out, or has just been moved into a place where they can test it freely. Understandably so, because of the issues we had last time of the scores resetting. The command wasn't disabled yet, just don't use it. Okay, so we will just stick to doing that. I don't really think there's a different way to restart the round. Safely, at least, without screwing the plugin, so... Let's just hope that they don't screw around with the classes again, and then we should be good to go. Looks good in this case. Merit is now the Burning support. Burning stuff to ZRC. I didn't catch what you said there. SF all had pretty good firepower. Yeah, it seems like Merit and John have switched around classes 
in order for firepower or well, I wouldn't say firepower because they both have the same rank, but maybe just to try out something different. Doesn't seem to work out yeah. too well because they're already down by two men. John by himself with his with his assault position now in the basement. He is on the ghost. Halcyon's oh. just around the Halcyon's corner. On, uh... He gets one frag. And another one, and that would mean... Well, two in this case, and that would mean he would be sergeant. Somebody's behind him. He's gonna get pinched. It was a good Not even necessary. Shotgun. I'm pretty unfortunate that the support was the first one he, he encountered with it, because the assault could have been taken down on one yeah. hit. Well, not a big deal for now, because if they can win at least one round, it would give both John and Merritt enough points to have Sergeant Weaponry, which allows them to get back on par at least a bit, because they're facing two lieutenants, which are... Well, Halcyon is using his lieutenant weapon, but uh, Ragbob, uh, I mean Hosumi, is not. Still quite a threat, because they might just end up taking the SRS next round if there is going to be a win on communication issues side. So they got a three-man, well, a two-man stack down in the basement area. Ragbop seems to really like that sky bridge a lot. And we got communication issue just holding down the ghost. At least the general perimeter of it. The first encounter is not too far because Merritt seems to be on the sky bridge. Not sure where Ragbop went in this case. Ragbop was basement. Okay, so they all got to jump out of the basement time, to get the ghost here. A very chaotic mess of everybody just jumping down to the lower yeah. tarmac to start these, these engagements here. Communication issue is maintaining dominance over the ghost, killing two people, which means that Hosumi now has to come up with something. Somebody could potentially clutch it, but it's pretty low, it's gonna be hard. His position has been revealed, so unless he's going the long route and somehow trying to, you know, get a gun in 30 seconds, or he goes down like he did now and NSF has taken around, that means that all people on Communication Issues team have Sergeant, allowing them to have more firepower for themselves. Though I'm interested in maybe seeing somebody switch up classes for an SRS on the tarmac. The ghost does. Uh, the ghost does seem in a favor for it, but they all spawned in already, keeping their classes. Merit going for the next a Mossock silenced here. I'm not sure what he is going for, but we shall see. He's switching it with Sock with John. Yeah. Maybe That's they're trying peculiar. to get picks long range on a recon. Either that, or it was a mispick. Ragbob just kicking her off, getting rainy, so the recon is down. Hosumi holding the general perimeter together with Halcyon on the go so far. Halcyon probably just waiting for a right time to flank, keeping an eye through the ballistic windows to see if there's somebody coming. Now, maybe going for the camera jump. That he is. Oh my god. Suck at that jump. <laughs> Push through server and catch Rick while out in you know, anger. I mean, not the best time for him to try around because in the time he was trying, he lost Rake Bob and nearly got caught off here by John. Catches the air that one shot will kill him. One shot will kill uh, Halcyon too, though. The problem is that Hosumi is still up for, you know, having additional health posters for. Um, uh, not uh, communication issues. Bartle's Beast team. There we go. Yeah, there's a big thing. Oh. There, oh, in the wow. meantime, went around, lower, lowering Gets a couple shots to in. endangering amounts of health as well. So it now boils down to him either picking off both by being in the advantage of peeking at the best time, or he might just go down. Problem now is that Halcyon is keeping an eye on the ballistic windows once more, meaning that he can't stay there. But it just Sounds seems like he's retreating. Yeah, it just looks like he's retreating, making sure that the risk is maintained at a low, at a big low, 
in order for the reward for both teams being minimized. It's not a bad strategy since one more win would uh, move to the next map. That's very true. They might do this some more just to stick in. If they can get uh, Lieutenant, they have a better chance of winning coming back. So they got three lieutenants, and communication issue has three sergeants. We're now seeing an AA on Rake Bob's end here. Switching it up was Halcyon, so we got a very aggressive recon line up here. It's gonna go straight down Skybridge too. Either that, or he's waiting for the right time to strike and get both Merit and John because they're pretty close together at the moment. I heard a dead pack, pe dead pack pee ping, a bee ping rather. I'm not sure where that yeah, was dropped. He threw the dead pack into the smoke on Skybridge. Ah. He's just trying to catch Merit out. So Rig Bob got John right as he entered the courtyard. Now going for the push against another shotgun, which is Rainey's, getting shot down immediately. Seems like a big shotgun game going on because Rig Bob, Rainey, and Halcyon all three have one. But Halcyon, he's not as aggressive as I thought. He's just sitting in a QB hole. Halcyon gets 20 damage on uh, Rainy. Rainy just going in, trying to get something down. Halcyon just one hitting him here. So it's down to Merit. One of X to take down the world. Either he falls back to tie out another round, you know, playing the chewing gum game, wearing them down, or he ends up just directly facing them. In this case, not too bad in a favor for him if he manages to get the first shot onto Halcyon first. But Halcyon knows he's behind there, so, yep, turning oh. the corner, that was his demise. First map now going to Bartlesby, we're moving on to the next. Let's see what they're picking. Transit or oil stain? Seems like Hosomi has some issues going on IRL in the meantime. Maybe they're having to switch out. We shall see. I guess they won't. Halcyon's still here. Oil stain it is. So I'm gonna load that map in. We're gonna move right over. So second map oil stain, what do you think is going to happen? More of an aggressive play style? Something defensive? That's gonna be really interesting, because I think the recons here are a lot stronger than Tarmac. Oh, shit. Not only that, but both recons seem to be well, sort of equal in their play styles. Rainy seems a bit more aggressive on, and keen on taking engagements with his Super 7 when he has one. But Halcyon, <laughs> he gets really aggressive when he sees the initiative and opportunities here. So... Thanks to the team. Got them all mixed up. Yeah, Halcyon and Rainy are probably going to pull a lot of weight here. They might be, but Merit was doing quite okay in his 1v2 and 3 situations too. So he might That's true. He might be able to pull it around once it comes down to it. You know, just fighting back the resistance. And if we're going to keep the current tradition we're having in the tournament, they might take it to the third map. The more the better. Yep. So, do you think they're going to pick the same classes at the, as they did before, or will they switch it around? I think they'll probably start with the same classes. By the oh. looks of it, yeah. Break Merit is staying the assault, though. Well, they're keeping the lineups they ended Tarmac with, it seems, because Merit seems yeah. to be on the support position still. John having the assault. Maybe not the worst idea, maybe not the best. I'm just looking forward to uh, 
I'm just looking forward to people actually, you know, starting to switch it up for things I've been bringing up in the past few matches for firepower, point related situations, certain playstyles people have been surfacing with a lot, just stuff like that. Because I feel like um, in the other matches, the playstyles would have been way more influential and have had more emphasis if they were played with the right classes. But um, I could be wrong as well. I saw quite some aggressive support plays with support hopping, Sakam being a great example of the assault being the aggressive weight here for the assault. And um, yeah, they're both breaking the habits of recons being the aggressive part of the team. That and Psyche being the one on transit in the very first match. Devastating to... Um, I keep forgetting the team names here, just... Kind of escaping me. <laughs> it was uh, Nice Guys, right? No, Nice Guys was against Tenga. No, yeah. The first two match, the first two teams were uh, Smelly Skanks versus. Oh, um, is that worst end tier? Oh, there we go. Yeah, worst end tier. Yeah.